Hey guys, Peter here to do a stream review. Today I'm here to tell you about the latest from Fractal Universe, the impassable Horizon Alive. I was really excited about this show because I'm a huge fan of their latest record, The Impassable Horizon. They announced that they're gonna play the record from beginning to end plus some fan favorites, and that was enough for me to be able to get myself in the, in, in the moment, to, to be able to get connected with this performance, with this stream, and see what these guys were gonna have in store for the fans. The show lasted about 70 minutes, give or take a minute, and it's still gonna be available until August 8th. So if you missed it on its debut day of July 25th, you can still purchase a ticket, link in the description of this video, and watch it from the comfort of your home. I don't think you should miss it. If you're a fan of the band, if you're a fan of the record, if you like what these guys are doing, support the band, pick up a ticket, watch it, you're not gonna be disappointed. Once again, this might be your only chance of watching this record being played front to back live. So don't miss this opportunity. Now, as far as the show itself, let's break it down into the video side of things and then the audio side of things. From a video perspective, I like the fact that this was a small venue, but it still had smoke, it still had lights, it still had a lot of atmosphere that was really well captured by the videography surrounding this stream. I like the multiple angles as well, not just one or two angles from the front of the stage. No, they had close-ups, angles from the, the side of the drummer, uh, angles from the side of the stage. They, they really were able to capture all the things that were happening during the performance, during every single song. So you didn't get this static side of things. You got more of a mobile, more of a fluid, dynamic performance all around. So it was more entertaining. It was more energetic and it got you engaged with every single track as you could see their facial expressions, how they felt towards that song when they were playing because you would get these really cool close-ups and the quality of the video was phenomenal. So you got to see every single detail happening, either be from their own facial expressions, how they were playing, the live, the smoke, everything came together, made this a very interesting show, a very interesting performance, really well filmed, very well documented. On the side of the sound, I, I really like this sort of sound because it's live, but it's not really live. You don't have an audience. And that's one of the things that the band didn't do is play to an audience that doesn't exist. They didn't talk to the camera, they didn't pause. It was just song after song after song. I like this format, I like this setting. Let's not pretend that there's an audience there when there isn't, the audience is at home, so let's just play these songs. Then as far as the soundscape is concerned, I like this studio live sound. It's not as gritty, it's not as raw because you don't hear the audience there. Like I said, there's no audience, but you don't hear all those imperfections that comes with that. It's a more polished live performance, but I like that. I think it captures better what the band is all about in terms of bringing their studio sound into a live performance. So I like how it sounded. I like the quality of the performance, really balanced from beginning to end. It's not like there was one song that something was off, a guitar was off or a drums was off. Everything was very high level, very high quality, standard quality from top to bottom. I love how the vocals came across, the clean vocals, just phenomenal, very haunting all around uh, and, and really matching and giving a, a sense of ebbs and flows to the songs and to the overall performance. I also love the saxophone and I have to mention this because the moment the saxophone came out, I was floored. Not that I didn't expect it, but I didn't know how they were gonna tackle. Let's just put it that way. I've seen other technical death metal bands that use saxophone uh, play live and they're using a backing track. I didn't think they were gonna do that because they have the tools in their arsenal. And this, uh, this stream, this show, really showed that they're not just a band that creates ideas, that creates music, that creates concepts. They have a lot of different tools that other bands don't have at their disposal. So why not make the most out of it, incorporate that in the performance, incorporate that in the show, and allow the overall experience for the listener to be one that's very different from anything else that's out there. And that's exactly what they gave us with the Impossible Horizon Alive. Let me know your thoughts if you watch the show. If you haven't watched the show, once again, there's gonna be a link in the description of this video. You can still purchase it until August 8th. I just wanna rephrase this once again. If you're a fan of the band, if you enjoy their latest record as much as I have, this is perhaps your only opportunity to watch it live, front to back. Don't miss it. See you guys.